Okay, so this is week two of the uh, collab channel, and this week's topic is about coming out. My personal experiences with coming out are that I haven't really come out to my family at all, um, sexuality wise or gender wise. And the reasons why I haven't come out to them is because I don't know how they take it. Because whenever there's a gay issue or gender issue on the TV, they badmouth it and make like sly comments about it, which makes me feel really uncomfortable. So I don't know how they really take it. And there's a generation difference. Like my dad's in his 70s, my mum's in her late 50s. That's a main reason why. I mean, it could go good, it could go bad. I don't really want to run that risk. There's a uh, Another reason why I haven't told them is because I depend on them financially for university. Um, and if things did go badly, I don't know whether or not I'd be able to fund myself through uni, which is where I'm able to be me. So that's so my family don't know anything. My sister, I haven't actually explicitly told her, but I think she knows that I'm trans um, because she's my twin, and we have this like unspoken like acceptance thing so I think she knows but she doesn't call me by my name or use male pronouns but that's because I haven't really told her to so coming out to friends could have gone a bit better than it had um, they all knew I was gay when I first went to like well I got my old friends from home and my new friends at university and everyone at home um, knew that I was gay because it was outed at school which was not fun. I was in year 10 and I got outed and um, so by the time I got to sixth form everyone knew and nobody cared anymore so they were all fine with that um, and then when I came to uni I still hadn't quite realised how I felt about the gender thing that hadn't really cropped up until like a year into uni and um, they everyone like my sexuality were absolutely fine. Funny thing was, um, when I was at uni, I was in an all girls halls. So there was 14 of us and it was all girls, which didn't really bother me actually. It did when I first found out because I was like, oh crap, this is not going to be fun. But I couldn't be placed anywhere better than where I was. I made some really good friends where I was. But when I started thinking about the gender issues that I was having, um, I went out and bought myself a binder uh, off Tea Kingdom and I started binding and no one really noticed. A couple of people asked me what I had on underneath and just out of panic I said I'd fallen and hurt my ribs and it was a brace to help me uh, keep upright which they kind of bought and quite good with coming out with really quick excuses for things. So. Um, when I actually officially came out to them, I did it through a letter that I wrote to them all on Facebook because I'm absolutely useless with face-to-face -face, um, things. I just can't. I chicken out when I have to do it face-to-face. -face. So I sent them all like quite a long letter explaining how I felt um, about um, explaining what it was like the terminology and what I'd already learned about there being like a spectrum of gender and where I felt I uh, was on that spectrum and then I told them about the pronoun changes and how it affected me when I was out in public with them and I passed and then someone one of my friends would call me by my female name or a female pronoun and then to the people I passed they kind of did a recalculation of who I was and somehow I get this feeling like they're re-judging me. Yeah, they're probably not, but that's how I feel. I told them about that, and they were quite good with the name change and the pronouns change for a couple of weeks, and then they started slipping, and I didn't correct them, which is where my downfall was. I should have corrected them from the beginning, but I let it slide. Uh, just calling me by my uh, female name and using female pronouns, which is quite annoying. Uh, especially now, where I'm passing a hell of a lot more and new groups of friends that I make, I introduce myself as Chris 
a male and they're absolutely brilliant with it. Some of them know, some of them don't know. Um, most of the new people that I meet are really, really good with it, but when I bring them back here and people that aren't using the right pronouns, not only does it confuse them, it makes me feel a bit like, oh God, here we go again. So I'm thinking about having face-to-face -face talk with each of them because I feel that's the only way it's going to get through to them. Maybe this coming year I'll have a word with them. So, fingers crossed for that. Um, university are absolutely amazing with it. Um, they call me the right stuff, they introduce me as the right things. They tried to change my name on the register but for some reason it couldn't be done. Um, but I'm going for a meeting tomorrow with my course leader to have another chat with her about some issues that I feel like I'm having with uni at the moment, mainly about my gender. So I'll see how that goes. Um, she's really lovely though, she's really good with it. Um, and that's all I can think of. Um, so yeah, that's my coming out stories type thing. Um, so I'll speak to you all next week. Bye.